Christmas in this vlog. Today's Saturday, it's November 16th, which is pretty early for me. I don't usually, Alex and I are both pretty big on decorating after Thanksgiving. We're big Thanksgiving people over here. I love November and I, my birthday's in November, so I feel like November needs to have its moment for me before I move into Christmas. But this year has been really hard. We both lost our grandmothers this year and we're just wanting to start the Christmas cheer a little early. We just wanted a little bit of joy in our lives. So with that, we went to Target last night, did some damage. And so we went to Target last night. We did some serious damage at Target. We spent $300, not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> we were out of control. We just got there and we were just so excited and just having such a good time that we were just like, you know what? Let's just get whatever we want and just worry about it later. Like we need some joy in our lives. Um, typically we don't do like a whole Christmas decor overhaul shopping spree every single year. We've we just buy like a little bit each year. We're kind of like slowly building up our Christmas collection. Um, we've been in this house for, this will be our third Christmas year, I think. So we've just slowly been building up our collection and most of our stuff is like very neutral. It's not like sad beige Christmas. It's just very like, it's very neutral. And I did that intentionally because I wanted to just be able to like add things to it over time and have it be kind of timeless. And I feel like neutral stuff is pretty timeless. But this year Alex was like, can I make a request to have red and green this year? I just want to feel, he said he wants it to feel like 90s nostalgic Christmas. And I was like, absolutely, we can do that. And I was totally on board. So we did last night, I was going to take you guys with me to Target, but I ended up deciding to do a short form video for that. So I filmed it for Instagram and TikTok. So if you follow me over there, you can go watch that vlog. And we also went to Chili's last night. Oh my God, it was so good. We ate. We each got an appetizer, an entree, and a drink. And the total was $32.99. Chili's is literally the best. So with that, I want to show you guys everything we got from Target because I didn't really show it in like the TikTok and Instagram vlogs. So I want to show you guys everything we got. I'm like so excited about it. And I'll link everything, of course, down below. This is all from Target. I have like one thing from Amazon that I'll show you guys, but for the most part, it's like all Target. Okay, so I'll start with the pillows. We got this really cute red one. It says good tidings on it. I thought this was so cute. And then we also got this green plaid one. So we have these two. And then, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that Gatsby absolutely is obsessed with this pumpkin pillow. He loves to like bake cookies on it. And we were like, well, what are we gonna do when we have to put that away? Because it's a fall like pillow, obviously. So we found this one at Target last night. And it's the same material, same idea, but it's a little Christmas tree. So I got this for him. I think he's gonna actually like maybe possibly like this one even more. And then we got some new stockings because ours are actually pretty old. We've had them for a long time. So we got these two stockings. I think they're really cute. And then I got some, um, these are just like dish towels for hanging on the stove. We got those for a little pop of red and green in the kitchen. And then we also got a plaid blanket. We have literally so much plaid. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like it's going to be an explosion of color. This is such a stark contrast from like past years when it's been like so neutral. It's so funny. Okay, then Alex really liked this little stem. Really cute. We actually do have some stems that have a little bit of red in them. So this will pair nicely with that. And then the little green vase. And then Alex really liked this snow globe. So we decided to get that. And then we got two little coffee mugs. Got this green one and a red one. So we got these two. So freaking cute. And then of course you have to get a candle. So we got this really pretty, this is so pretty I thought. And the smell, this is the mold spice smell. Oh my God. It literally just smells like home. Like it smells like home for the holidays, your mom's house. Christmas Eve, like it just has that like cozy, nostalgic smell to it. I love it. Also got a new star for the Christmas tree because ours is black. <laughs> Our Christmas tree star is black. I actually have an old, um, a gold star from whenever I was little. Like it was literally the star we used on our tree, but it's like so tall and skinny and it just, our tree is short. Um, and so the, like, it just kind of wobbles and like doesn't stay. So this one, the little bit, like the center of gravity is a little lower, so it'll stay. We also got Gatsby a new stocking. His is like a gray stocking, so we got him a little white one to match ours. Also started getting some wrapping paper because the stuff will sell out so fast. So we got a little plaid one. I got this one that says Happy Holidays. I like getting bags because I feel like a lot of the gifts I buy actually work better in bags. And we got this really pretty tissue paper. And then this one that says Winter Wishes. Always need more bows. So we got some bows. These are like super cheap. They were like $2.99, I think. 
And then we started a new tradition this year where we're gonna start picking out an ornament for each other every year. Like something just like either cute or funny or whatever. But Alex got me a goldfish one. I freaking love goldfish. One thing about me, the flavor blasted cheddar goldfish is like my favorite snack ever. Oh my God. And then I got him this one because we saw last year, um, there was like an inside joke in my family. We saw this reel of like this guy who was like going around his grandma's house showing like her Christmas decorations and every single decoration in her house had some red truck with a Christmas tree. And he was like this like, I don't know, Southern guy. And so he's talking a Southern accent and he's like, oh look, it's a little red truck hauling a Christmas tree. And he says it like a hundred times in the video. It's so funny. So anyways, last year that was like our inside joke. So I got him this one because Alex loves that joke. He thinks it's hysterical. So not least, got some wrapping paper. Of course, we got a plaid. I feel like we have a hundred plaid things. <laughs> We're just gonna have a plaid house. And then a red one and then this really pretty green one. And we have a little bit left over from last year, I think. And I think it's also in this green color. I think it's like a green kind of plaid looking thing. So that's what we have. And then I always like to get wrapping paper that's in like this color, like a beige, like a tan, like almost like craft paper. And I use that as wrapping paper and I just do like a nice like green velvet bow on it just to kind of like have some a couple of neutrals like staggered in between all the colors so anyways that's what i got from target again i'll link all of this for you guys and then we also got a welcome mat that i'll show you guys later and then from amazon i always do like um bows on our christmas tree and right now i have black velvet ones and they're so pretty but i got some red ribbon from amazon so we can do that on the tree this year i think that's everything and then i also got for our uh, for our Pura diffuser, I got a holiday nest fragrance to put in it. So we are ready to go. Alex just got home from his workout class. He's taking a shower and then he's going to get all the decorations down, all the stuff that we already have, and then we can start decorating. In the meantime, I think I'm going to whip up some lunch really quick. I am so freaking hungry, so I think I'll start with that. <laughs> That's great, but we just finished the tree. We went with more of a red and green theme this year. My mom got me these green ornaments and these red ones from, um, I can't remember the name of the market. I think it's Madison Market or something like that, but it's out where she lives. Here's Alex's little <laughs> ornament. And then we have a bunch of our like sentimental ornaments that people have gifted us over the years. So we have like our just married one. This is from the newspaper that I used to work at in college. It's one of the articles I wrote. A friend gave this to me. It's very special to me. We have this one, which I love. It says the Mundies. We have <laughs> this one, which has Gatsby on it. So cute. We have this one for our new home in 2022. Let's see what else do we have on here. We have Alex's jujitsu ornament. We have this one, Christmas at Home. And we have Alex's U of H ornament. We have this one that a friend of mine stitched for us by hand. We have this one, which has my Instagram handle on it. I thought that was so cute. My stepmom got me that. Santa with a COVID mask. We have a little video game one for Alex. What's this one? We have a 2021. 
Alex is looking for another tree topper because the one we got from Target is too top heavy. Our tree doesn't have a very like long top, so it's kind of hard to like put a star up there. So we're gonna try to find another one on Amazon. And then we also did these little bows with just like some velvet ribbon. I think it looks so pretty. I love how they're just like kind of draped. I think like the more informal they look, the better. Alex is such a perfectionist about Christmas trees, you guys. This is Alex's personal favorite Christmas light. Oh, that's annoying. I don't like that. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Okay, it is like several days later, like a week later. It's Friday again. I think the last time I filmed was on Saturday last weekend. I just didn't have anything else to film after I filmed my Christmas decor, like Christmas decorating footage. I didn't have anything else interesting going on that I could film. And then I had a crazy busy work week. And I was looking back at the footage and I was like, the Christmas decorating footage isn't quite enough for like a video on its own. So I'm just gonna continue this vlog into like, like getting into the holiday spirit kind of vlog. And I thought I would pick up a camera specifically today because I'm hosting book club tonight and I'm so excited. I love hosting so much. And my house is decorated for Christmas. I have like really good appetizers on deck and like a themed cocktail. I'm so excited. So I'm about to, I just like showered, got ready. I've prepped a few appetizers already that are in the fridge that just need to be popped in the oven. Um, but I'm gonna make chili tonight to eat and I need to kind of like assemble things. And I also got a bunch of like stuff from Amazon to decorate and make it cute for book club. So I'll show you guys what I got and we'll kind of get stuff set up. But anyways, I thought I'd pick up the vlog. And then also tomorrow morning, we are leaving to go to Temple, which is just outside of Austin to visit um, my mom because my sister and her boyfriend are in town and we're basically doing our Thanksgiving this weekend. Um, Cause this is the weekend before Thanksgiving that I'm filming this. So we're gonna get to see them tomorrow. So I'm really excited. We're leaving like pretty much first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna take you guys with me to that, to Thanksgiving. And then Sunday we come home and we're gonna see my husband's great aunt and great uncle who are coming into town. We're gonna see them on Sunday night. So jam packed weekend, lots of stuff going on. I thought I'd bring the camera along and just do a little like holiday spirit vlog. Anyways, let me show you guys what I picked up for book club and how I'm gonna kind of decorate. Okay, here's my current station for all of the decor stuff. I saved a bunch of like Pinterest pictures for inspo and I saved a bunch of TikToks of like book club inspo. This is my first time hosting a book club. So I wanted to do something themed. This is the book that we read last one at the wedding by Jason Rikulak. I really liked it. I give it like, I'm tempted to give it four stars, but I don't know if it's quite four stars for me. So I think maybe like 3.75 but I really liked it. His book, Hidden Pictures, is one of my favorites and it was a best-selling book and so this one just released and I thought it was really good. But the theme is kind of like cabin, wedding, in the mountains, on a lake kind of vibes. Um, and I obviously <laughs> am not in a cabin, nor do I have a lake, nor do I have a wedding. So it's kind of hard to like theme the decor based on the book, but I'm doing like chili, we're gonna do have s'mores and so it's kind of, unintentionally a little bit like some of the stuff they have in the book where they're like sitting out on patio they're having like it's some of the wedding events are more like rustic and stuff like that so anyways i have this really cute little book stand too that my stepsister got me as a housewarming gift when i moved into this house and i'm going to use it for this to kind of display it got some flowers i think fresh flowers are just always a nice touch for hosting i just think they look really cute and then I got these candlesticks from Amazon, these gold candlesticks. Um, they're not good quality like at all, but they were super cheap and I didn't want to spend a bunch of money. So I just got the cheapest ones that I could find, but they do the job, they look cute. I just want it, like I have this one from Target, but I wanted something that kind of like sprawled a little bit more. So um, yeah, I got those. And then I got this really pretty linen table runner from Amazon and then a tablecloth, which I may not end up needing. I don't know, we'll see. And then I got this parchment paper. I saw some people on TikTok using this and like laying it out across the island and putting like all their serving, like everything that they're serving on it. And it looks really cute. So I think I may do that. This is something else. This is supposed to be hanging above our mirror, but I haven't gotten around to hanging it yet. I need to get a command strip. And yeah, so that's kind of all the decor I'm doing. Pretty simple. I just ordered those candlesticks, the candles, tablecloth, and then I got these black velvet ribbons to tie bows around the candles. I thought that would be so cute. Hi, buddy. 
and I thought I would tie these little things to the martini glasses. I don't know. Anyways, just kind of a hodgepodge of all the different things I saw on TikTok and Pinterest. But it is like 5.30, I want to say, and I need to get going on decorating and I want to film it for Instagram and TikTok. So I'm going to go ahead and start on that. And then here's all the stuff I picked up for appetizers and stuff. I got tequila because I made um, some margaritas and then Bailey's for espresso martinis, skewers for s'mores, that stuff for s'mores. We're going to do s'mores outside. I'll show you guys that setup in a second. Um, I also got some hot chocolate, mini marshmallows, crackers to go with this dip that I made that I'll show you guys, and then just some chocolate covered pretzels, just as like a little sweet thing to put out. You guys, look at this plate I got at Anthropology. I could not resist it. It's been in my cart for like three weeks and I could not resist it, so I ended up buying it. It also comes in a black version where the bows are black, but how freaking cute. I couldn't stop thinking about it. My rule is I put something in my cart. If I see it and I like it, I put it in my cart and then I wait for like two weeks. And if I can't get it out of my head, I buy it. So that's what I did with this. And in the fridge, I have these appetizers. This is my favorite appetizer ever to bring to any function. Please excuse my nail. Um, they are little beanie weenies, like the little smokies that you can buy at the grocery store, wrapped in bacon with brown sugar just sprinkled on top. You refrigerate them for at least an hour and then you put them in the oven for like 40 minutes and they are so delicious, like caramelized, glazed, really good. Kind of like a sweet savory option. Every time I've brought this appetizer anywhere, it is always the first thing to go. People die over this and it's only three ingredients and it's super freaking easy. And then I also made this borsan or borsin dip. It's borsin cheese on the bottom and then it's like diced tomatoes, basil, balsamic glaze, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper sprinkled on top. Super easy. I'm going to serve that with crackers. Really good. I saw um, a TikTok creator shared this recipe so I'll tag her below. Then I already went ahead and prepped some apple cider margaritas just in case. I also have some hard cider, ginger beer. I got a white wine, a red wine. I just want to have like all the options. And then outside, Alex set this up for me. Last year, I got a solo stove for my mom for Christmas. Love it so much. Finally getting to use it. It's finally cold enough to use it. And then my mother-in-law got me this s'mores um, thing. So this liquid lights up and it turns into a little fire. So it's like tabletop s'mores. It's so cute. Set up, got all of our chairs cleaned off today. Got them wiped down and then Alex put these wreaths up. So cute. We have a TV right here. I'll probably put some music on or something. But yeah, so that's the plan. I'm gonna move all this stuff because it's kind of in the way of what I want to do here and I also want to use this for serving. So I'm just gonna move this. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this yet. Figure it out later. I love posting. It's so much fun and I honestly love the prep part but I have kind of a love-hate relationship with it because same time it's super stressful but I feel like it wouldn't be nearly as stressful if I didn't have to work today like I had to work today on top of prepping and stuff and I don't have enough PTO days to take today off otherwise I would have but yeah so it just kind of sucks like prepping is not as fun when you don't get to just like dedicate the whole day to prepping this way I don't know, is this cute or stupid? I can't really tell. I feel like it looked really cute when other people did it. And now I'm looking at it on my phone and I'm like, this looks kind of dumb. So imagine this. If you are a bride and you're getting married soon, put serving wear on your registry. Literally, it's something I never would have bought myself, but it's like nice stuff from like Crate and Barrel. And it's just elite, so. Little smokies here, the three bites here, cheese here. I think that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. I am obsessed. <laughs> I can't do anything. So I just put like this tablecloth here, but I'm like, there's only four seats. One, two, three, four, five. There's like four seats here. I'd have to, I can move like cubes over here. I can fit seven people at this table. I've done it before. But that feels so crammed and like formal when I have this whole living room. So I'm wondering if I just do the decor on the island only and leave this just like regular. 
Thank you. So this is the part of social media that you probably wouldn't know about is I had already set this all up and I had to take it all down so that I can now film it for Instagram. But I had to see how it looked first. Okay, I have chili going here. I just put that all together. This is Alex Earl's chili recipe. It was super good. Alex and I had it one night. And then this is all that's left to put in it. So this just kind of sits, you're supposed to let it sit for an hour, so it might be like the perfect time actually. But um, I'm just gonna let it sit until basically people get here and then I'll throw that in and it'll be ready. Fortunately, I'm having a little mishap with our oven. I have no idea what's going on. Alex, I texted Alex because he's out tonight and I asked him, <laughs> what to do. Basically anytime I put, I set it to preheat, it just keeps saying pre, but doesn't actually increase in temperature at all. And it just eventually turns itself off. So it's literally not preheating. Alex said it happened last weekend when he was trying to make pizza and it eventually worked. He just kept trying to like redo it and like start it over. But I don't want to do that when I'm home alone. I don't want to start a fire or something. So I'm just going to leave it alone, but I'm just doing my appetizers in the air fryer. So I just put my little smokies in here and they look Absolutely delicious. I'm going to transfer these to a plate. Please ignore the fact that I'm wearing a sports bra. I got so hot with cooking that chili. I think these are pretty good. Let's see. Let me twist them with a toothpick. Thank God for this air fryer, you guys. This is actually, we got this. Can you see me? Um, we got this as a wedding gift. <laughs> Literally everything you're seeing tonight, we got it as a wedding gift. Like, I did not purchase any of this stuff. Um, I kind of wonder if they should be a little bit crispier. Maybe I should crisp them a little more. I don't know, I just, yeah, you know what, let me do that. Let me crisp them a little longer, just so the outside is nice and crispy. What's going on, I need to make my brie. Okay, so currently making my little brie appetizers. I was gonna do some puff pastries, but there's no way for me to do that without using the oven, so I may keep trying, but I think I'm, I thank God, got a backup option to just do brie on top of bread, so I can just put this bread in the air fryer and get it where it needs to be, so. This recipe is from the same creator that I got the dip recipe from. Two right here. It's the same creator. So you just cut up a little French baguette and then you just drizzle olive oil on here and then I'll throw it in the air fryer for a little bit just to get kind of I don't know golden and then you put brie on top with fig jam looks really good so It's Saturday morning. Actually, it's 12:23. Got my socks in my hair. I've been doing this heatless curl method. It is a absolute game changer. Honestly, it works so well. It works better than any other heatless curl method that I've tried. And the curls actually stay, which is the game changer. Like I've had certain methods that work really well, and they look cute, but they're either uncomfortable to sleep in, or they don't last. Or is he even recording? Hello, are you recording? It's so hard to see. You're such a glare. 
Anyways, we're heading to my mom's house. I think I mentioned this to you guys yesterday. We're heading to Austin. My mom lives in like Temple, which is just north of Austin. And we're on our way there. We just stopped at a gas station to get me and Dr. Pepper. I'm not feeling super great this morning. I think I stressed myself out yesterday with hosting. And I wasn't actually stressed about hosting. I was actually really excited about it. But as you guys saw, I think I shared a little bit of it. Um, my oven stopped working and so I had to air fry everything. I almost burned or I kind of burned my um, little smokies that I was making. So I don't know. And then it also put everything behind because I was having to like improvise to so put everything back like 30 minutes. So I was like running late and I was like still cooking and cleaning and stuff when people were arriving. I felt bad. But um, anyways, it's such a good time last night. Doing this morning was such a good idea. It was perfect. It was so much fun and I just really love that group of people. I feel like it's just such a good group and it was so much fun. The food was really good. Everybody loved the food, even my burned little smokies. Everybody loved those. People were like asking me for recipes and stuff, which by the way, I'll put all the recipes for everything I made in the description box because they're all super, super easy if you want to. Um, I'm hoping to get this video up before Thanksgiving, so hopefully you guys can get those recipes ahead of time. So if you are in charge of an appetizer for Thanksgiving, Highly recommend any one of the things that I made yesterday. You will absolutely be the favorite person at Thanksgiving if you make these appetizers. Um, but yeah, I'm just feeling super like my neck is super tense today because I just was like tensed up yesterday trying to like get everything done and work and like and film and all that stuff. And I also had a margarita last night, so I'm feeling a little bit inflamed. Um, Anyways, I'm about to get a crispy Dr. Pepper because I that always helps my headache. I swear a crispy Dr. Pepper and french fries works better than any medication. I don't know what it is. Well, I know what it is. It's because of the salt and the fries and the caffeine and the soda. But anyway, so Alex is getting me that right now. And we're about halfway to my mom's. I'm so excited um, to see her and to see my sister. My sister flew in from Boston with her boyfriend. Um... And so we're doing our Thanksgiving early um, so that she could fly in because it's just way cheaper to fly in this weekend than it is like on Thanksgiving. So anyways, I'm super excited to see her. I'm going to see my grandparents, going to see my aunt and uncle, and I'm so excited. My mom's house is just very cozy, chill vibes. I love it. People are looking at me like I'm freaking insane with these socks in my hair. I don't blame them. I look kind of crazy, but it works. And here's the thing about these. It's the they're so much more comfortable than any other heatless curl method. It doesn't look like they would be, but these are just soft. And so like, I have no problem sleeping on this. Like this would be comfy on a flight. Like, I don't know, it's really nice. But anyways, yeah, so we're gonna be at my mom's about an hour and um, we're eating around like four. So we'll get there a few hours early, which is good. I wanted to leave earlier this morning, but um, we really needed sleep because I did not sleep well the night before last. I didn't go to bed till like 2 a.m. because I was reading my book for book club, I was trying to finish it. And then I fell asleep and then I woke up again at 4 and didn't go back to sleep till like 6.30 and then I had to wake up at basically 6.30. So I got like two hours of sleep that night. And so I was so tired last night from hosting and from not getting sleep the night before. So I had to sleep in this morning. I just had to let myself, but I got out of bed about like 8 o'clock. They didn't have flavor blast. Whatever. Beggars can't be choosers. Well, I am a chooser. All right, now take a guess how much all of this was. Fifty. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially like dinner for two people. Or it should have been. Literally, our chilies was less expensive than that. Yeah. I was telling everyone at the book club last night about chilies. I was like. Everybody was like, is Chili's still good? I was like, Absolutely. yeah, why are y'all sleeping on Chili's? But at the same time, I didn't want to tell them because I don't want anyone to know our secret. <laughs> why? I don't want a lot of people to start going there. I like that there's like no one there. Oh, I almost put in seven Dallas. Mm, I don't do that. Uh, last night, um, someone at the book club was telling me that they, have a, they had a friend who was like going to meet them somewhere, like out of town. Mm -hmm. And they put in their GPS... This, that same address but for a different city and she was in the car with her boyfriend and the boyfriend didn't even notice she didn't notice so they drove three and a half hours in the wrong direction <laughs> and then finally Michaela called them and was like where why are you going toward the Mexico border 
What'd you get, jerky? Yeah. ASMR. I get my pocket knife. Pocket knife? Yeah, I can't open this. It's not in there. What's the case for if you don't it's even... It's in there. Is this it? No. Yeah, it is. This? Yeah. That looks like not a knife. Oh, so you need to organize your glove box. There's, look at all of this. Oh my god, this is scary. I feel like we should pull over. so in style right now this, like if you i probably remove the sleeves yeah maybe i don't know actually honestly no i would keep the sleeves look at the bow oh that's so pretty from the back 